She is a licensed professional teacher, a registered psychometrician, a registered guidance counselor, and a registered psychologist. Indeed, sky is the limit when it comes to our dreams. She earned her bachelor's degree in psychology at Philippine Women's University, and in 2009, she finished her Master of Arts in Industrial Education, major in Administration and Supervision. She then studied some more at the La Salle University das Marinas for Doctor of Philosophy major in Counseling Psychology with concentration in Community Counseling, where she also works as a part-time faculty member in DLSUD's College of Education Graduate School. To add up, she helps people as a psychologist for MindSpeak Psychological Clinic and as a part-time consultant for Power Vision AOP. She then contributes to the community even more through her research studies, which are published locally and even internationally. Please help me welcome Dr. Myla Pilar Pamplona. Hello, good afternoon. So thank you very much for the opportunity to share with you some of uh, insights no, regarding inclusive education. So I see familiar names. So thank you for coming in this stage one. And uh, this is a very good venue for us to discuss and also uh, share you know, some of our experiences. So thank you uh, for introducing me, Trisha. Okay, so I'll be sharing my screen. So I am tasked to uh, discuss with you creating an inclusive environment in the hybrid classroom. Okay, so I am. Uh, the psychologist of MindSpeak Psychological Clinic, and I'm also connected with uh, De La Salle University Manila as uh, one of the university counselors. And really, you know, this is a challenging time for all of us. We're in most schools are combining uh, in-person, online, and modular uh, approaches to learning. You know? So uh, the approaches really are diverse and uh, blended and we have many terms no, to consider, okay? So before that, no, how are you feeling today? May I know? No? Kasi baka matulog po kayo, kakain nyo lang ng lunch. <laughs> so you can type in the chat box, how is your feeling today? Are you happy? Are you mad, surprised, sad, worried, hurt, excited, sick, or shy? Okay? So please type in the chat box. No? Yeah, they are typing in their feelings. Okay, so happy. Many are excited, happy. That's very good. No? We want our teachers to be happy this afternoon because this is a, a safe space for all of us to share and uh, be relaxed no? as we listen to information. No? So yeah, keep... Keep on typing your feelings, no? Happy. Yeah. Excited yung iba, no? So, very good. Thank you very much for, for answering, no, the question. How are, how am I feeling today? So, this is very important. And you will see here, no, that all these emotions are common emotions, no? Being felt by human beings. Sometimes we get mad, no? Sometimes we get worried. We also feel shy, hurt, and excited. No? These are common emotions that we have. Okay. And as human beings, we feel this, um, we feel this every time, no, just comes and goes. No? And uh, what will be a red flag here, no, if, if you will be sad for a long time, or if you will be so mad that you are uh, not listening, no, and you are being uh, dictated by your emotions, no. So all the things that will uh, uh, overpower you know, these emotions you know, and uh, you will be feeling it for a long time you know, that's the time we need to seek help you know? and mind you help is available we have counselors we have uh, psychologists you know, who can help us with our mental health thank you for engaging this afternoon so I have very um, very few objectives you know, for this session because I want you to have many takeaways so you need at the end of the session, uh, you will be able to understand though, the meaning of inclusive environment. Ano ba to inclusivity? No, this is um, 
a very trending topic no, in the field of education, the inclusive education, inclusive environment. No? Understand the hybrid learning, no? all the Cerebro has been giving us many information on how to do hybrid learning. And of course, no strategies to have an inclusive environment in hybrid learning. So I will not be talking about curriculum only, how to use the technology. No? It's also how to care for yourself no? because um, the, the part of the teacher is very crucial in creating this environment. And taking care of ourselves is very important in, um, in uh, implementing hybrid learning and inclusive environment inside the class, classroom. Okay, so this is the trivia, no? Which aspect is not drastically affected by COVID-19 pandemic, okay? You are to chat on the chat box your, your answer, no? The letters of your answer. Is it physical health? Financial, mental health, families and communities, education, or F, none of the choices, which is not affected drastically by the COVID-19 pandemic. There are many answers. Thank you for engaging. Okay. Most of the answers is F. No? Because really, all of all of the above, all of the choices, you know, were drastically affected by the COVID nineteen pandemic. That's why we are in hybrid learning. You know? It is because of our response, you no, know, to a pandemic you know, with this magnitude. So our physical health is affected. Financial, mental health is on the rise. You know, the way we do things inside our families and communities are also affected. And of course, one of the sector you know, greatly affected by the pandemic is the education sector. So all of the choices you know, really are drastically affected. And according to the World Health Organization, impact of COVID-19 on people's livelihoods, their health and our food systems. So the COVID-19 pandemic has led to a dramatic loss of human life worldwide and presents an unprecedented challenge to public health food systems, and the world of work. And of course, you know, one of the greatest affected sectors, you know, like what I have said, you know, is the uh, education sector. You know. According to the uh, United Nations Children's Fund, you know, UNICEF New York 2020, at least 463 million students worldwide you know, have been cut off from education, especially during the surge of the COVID-19 pandemic, wherein we don't have the vaccine yet. So it's really uh, affecting how our students is um, learning no? inside their homes and now in person, and some of them are still on online modalities. No? And last August 2021, no? on an article by UNICEF for Every Child Philippines, Filipino children continue missing education opportunities in another year of school closure. No? This is the year 2021. No? We are the four, we are included in the four countries no? who kept our schools closed nationwide since the COVID-19 pandemic. Actually, we are the last to open, last August 22. And we know that there are still many issues involved no? in the opening, wherein we are really pushing for in-person, but we know that our facilities, our resources are not enough no, to be able to address the need for safety of our students no, in addressing the pandemic. So we have many consultations, no, not, only, not only inside our schools, but, but also with the Department of Education and also with the Vice President no, regarding the opening of classes. So what first comes to your mind when you read the following terms, okay? You have, you have to answer you know, on the chat box. No? okay? So what first comes to your mind when you read the following terms? This is the first term. <clears throat> ano naisip nyo pag nababasa nyo yung word na environment? Okay? What first comes to your mind? Pamilis si Sir, ni Sir Aldrin, safe. Pollution. Infection. Please. Chaos, community, sa sustainability, 
yeah, sometimes environment post risk you know, in our health, safety, you know, we want a safe environment. You know? We do interaction you know, with our environment, nature, you know, very good. From Wendy, you know, BNR, <laughs> BNR nga naman, you know, Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Boom, diversity, you know, very good answers. Very good answers because these are the terms we'll be talking about this afternoon. So next, no, besides environment, what first comes to your mind when you hear the word inclusive? Ano po yung inclusive sa ating pagkakaintindi? All. No? Equal. For all. Seamless. No, no one is left behind. Okay, dapat all. Lahat ng students, free of prejudice, ang gaganda po ng mga uh, sagot ninyo, responsive, respectful, all those things are really very important in inclusive environment. No? We're talking about two terms pa lang, ha? environment and inclusive. Sana all, oo nga. We are really dreaming no, that education will be available for all. Sana all. Next. So besides in, uh, environment inclusive, how about hybrid? What first comes to your mind when you hear or read the word hybrid? Yung nga po. Oo, tama nyo, normal yan. Mixed, mixture. Online and on-site. Innovation. Oo, oh, alam na alam na pala nila to, Sir Justin. Flexible. Ano yung chimera? <laughs> Synthesis, no? learning modality, combination. Yeah, really, it's the new normal. Flexible learning, we have blended learning, no, we're in, uh, we are uh, combining modalities. No? Combine, no? synthesis of two modes. No? That's very good. Thank you for engaging this afternoon. Next, how about learning? What first comes to your mind when you hear the word learning? Okay, very good, Sir Michael. That's new. Process. Learning is fun, or really, that's good. Progress, change. Napaka positive ng ating mga ano ngayon, mga respondents. So, teacher and students together, that is learning. Exploring, engaging, lifelong. Very good words, no? A lifelong journey. And I believe this afternoon, we are on the right. Page, no? Lahat tayo, no? We are talking about foundation, lifelong experience. Thank you very much for, for answering. Application, totoo, implementation, learning. Very good. Okay, thank you po. Never ending. So environment is defined no, by Miriam Webster. Marami siyang synonym like milieu, ambience, setting, surroundings. All refer to what makes up makes up the atmosphere, no, or background against which someone or something is seen. Environment may refer either to actual physical surroundings, no, or to social or cultural background factors. When you say milieu, encountered most often in literary writing, no, refers to intangible aspects of environment, no, the sense, no, the ambience, no applies to the atmosphere of the surroundings, their mood or tone, an ambiance of ease and elegance. It can also be called setting, suggests a background that says something off. And surroundings allude specifically to the physical aspects of the environment. So we need, no, we need this, no? we need to lay the foundation of environment so that we will be able to know how to create an inclusive environment, okay? Thank you for all your answers. No? Actually, nasabi niyo na po lahat ng no, mga, mga terms, no? So, how do you describe this kind of setup, no? I need, I need uh, adjectives to describe this setup. No? Sa mga preschool ito, no? Can you describe it using adjectives? Itong, itong setup na ito? Ch chat in the chat box, the description. Meet. Malinis nga naman. Open. Oo, I like it. Paaliwalas. No? Purposeful. Conducive. 
safe space, free play, adequate, enticing, no? Talagang pag ganito naman yung environment na na pupuntahan ng ating mga anak to be able to study, no? It will really uh, allow them to be engaged, no? And uh, ano ba, maging friendly sa kanilang mga kasama, no? Very good, conducive, no? Conducive learning environment, no? Lalo na sa preschool. So, yung tinatawag nating environment can be described, no? It can be observed. Pag sinabing environment, pagpasok mo doon sa isang lugar, you can describe it. You can use uh, adjectives to be able to describe it. So, thank you very much. Ito naman po. How do you describe this one? Okay. Yes, applicable to preschool with limited number of students. No? Napaka-ideal ng room na yun. No? So how about this one? Medyo rigid. Mm -hmm. Medyo teacher-centered kasi parang walang room for ano, no? Walang room for collaboration. Compact. Traditional. O may nagsabing boring. Pero kalimitan sa Philippines, ganyan po ang setup, no? Kasi nga, we have very limited space, no? Oh, may pagka tertiary po ito, tertiary. Intimidating, minimalist. Tapos meron siyang combination ng online and and traditional, no? Kasi meron siyang mga mga equipment, no? Okay, discussion centered. Medyo may pagka crowded kasi nga parang dikit-dikit yung mga upuan. Very good. So now we are we are dealing with the description. Kasi po yung environment it can be described. At meron po kayong mga sinabi dyan na intangibles. Mga intangibles. Yung atmosphere. Yung conducive is, is something intangible. Eh. Pero nararamdaman mo siya if you are inside no, the, the, the room. No? So blended, tama po. Okay. So let us do the true or false on the chat box. Right, true or false. Okay. Inclusivity means focusing on intelligent students and leaving behind not so intelligent ones. True or false? Very good. Now, tapos na po tayo sa environment. No, I know you get the feel of what environment means. Now, let's go to inclusivity. Okay? Tama po, false. No? Inclusivity means para nga sa lahat. Sabi nyo nga kanina, sana all. Next po. Inclusivity is giving attention to the needs of every student. Is this true or false? Okay. Yes, true. True. Giving attention to the needs of every student. This is inclusivity. Very good po. Very good. Thank you for engaging. Next. Inclusivity means segregating students into sections. True or false? Before, no? Nung bata pa si Isabel during our time. Nakasegregate into sections, di ba? May section 1, may section 2, may section 3, may section 4. At pag ikaw ay section 1 during the time, you feel so proud, no? Because you belong to the elite intelligent students, no? Tapos pag ano daw sinasabi nila, pag section 4 ka, katabi ka ng, ng trash can, ako, nahihiya ka naman, di ba? So may mga ganon, no? segregation into sections. No? I know you experienced that also no? nung elementary days natin, no? nakasegregate yan. No? So now it's not, uh, it's not accepted anymore. No? Wala na po itong segregating students into sections. Thank you po, tama ang mga sagot niyo. So inclusivity is creating an atmosphere, an environment of belonging and acceptance. True or false? Inclusivity is creating an atmosphere of belonging and acceptance. Thank you po. Tama po. Yan po yung ating pag-uusapan talaga. No? We know that the environment can be described, no? tangible and intangible. No? How can we integrate now inclusivity? No? Sana pag inclusive yung classroom natin, inclusive yung environment, our students love to go to school. No? Because they feel they, 
they belong and they are accepted. So true, no? Thank you po sa mga sagot. Very good. So inclusivity is using gender appropriate language, gender sensitive language, gender neutral language, no? true or false. Inclusivity is using gender appropriate language. So napakarami pong ano to, no? factors, aspects no? when we say inclusive environment. Kasama po dyan, pati yung pagsasalita natin, the culture inside the classroom. No? The culture on how people uh, relate to one another using uh, languages can also be included no? in, in uh, inclusive environment. So having laid the foundation, I know that we are on the same page. Thank you po sa mga sagot. Thank you very much. So what do you mean by inclusive? No? Sabi kanina, including everyone, sana all, no one left behind. Pinagsasagot din po kanina. So ito yung ano, no? yung kaninang pinapunta ko sa true or false natin. Pag-exclusion, makikita mo na mayroong core group at mayroong mga groups na hindi included dun sa group. No? That is exclusion. No? When you say segregation, no? mayroong core group at mayroong outside group. When you say integration naman, nasa loob sila pareho, but there is still grouping. No? Meron pa rin sections na, na naka-separate. Integration. They are integrated in the system inside the classroom, pero hinihiwalay pa rin sila. No? Hindi yung sinasabing integration. But we are talking about inclusion. No? We're in everybody no? has, has uh, the equal right no? to be heard, to be accepted, to learn, and given that opportunity to grow. Sabi nga natin, learning is growth. And uh, if we will be uh, promoting this inside the classroom, we know that our students will be able to apply it not only inside the classroom, but inside their families and even in their communities. That is inclusion. And it's, this is very ideal, I know. But the reality of our situation in the Philippines, I have taken it also into consideration no, in my discussion. Because... Uh, inclusion is very ideal. Okay, we know that. And I'm very aware of that. So what do you mean by inclusive environment? No? So an inclusive classroom climate refers to an environment where all students feel supported intellectually and academically and are extended a sense of belonging in the classroom regardless of identity, learning preferences, or education. So this is a definition of Kaplan and me learning. So not labels, but the needs. We are focusing on the needs, not numbers. So we call our students by their names and not places, but the services we offer to our students. In the United Nations, no, the fourth sustainable development goal is centered on quality education. And UN defines quality education with a global noting that is, it is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Hindi lang po sa minority, hindi lang po sa majority, but to all. Learning opportunities for all. And of course, inclusive environment promotes sense of belonging inside the classroom. Kung natatandaan niyo po ba, nung tayo po ay mga bata pa, you are very excited to go to school if you feel that the environment no, allows you to belong and be accepted. If you are respected, if, you are, if your thoughts are very important to your classmates and if your teacher is listening to you, no, that is promoting sense of belonging inside the classroom. And when we talk about sense of belonging, this is very psychological. No? No, uh, in terms of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, no, we have many needs as, as a human being. We are a complex uh, individual with complex systems. No? Tayo po yan. So, alam po natin, we have the physiological needs, the safety needs, no? focusing on the basic needs no? of a person. No? But when we go up the ladder, no, we know that hindi lang yung pagkain natin and we feel safe. No? There is a belonging, no? love needs no? that we need. 
so that we can develop our steam needs and our self-confidence. No? And it's on the psychological needs. No? And we know that um, education is not only academics. Education is not only academics. No? Being a counselor in a very big school, no? I know that uh, academics is hard, no? but caring for the psychological needs of our students is also very important until we reach self accommodation Pero makikita po natin yung halaga no, ng belonging, sense of belonging. And it is very important, important in an inclusive classroom so that the children will feel they belong no, and they, they are being loved there no, by people no, who are with them every day. Ganun po kasi yung school, no? We are with people every day, you know, our classmates, teachers, and we spend more time. You know? We spend more time inside the classroom talaga. No? Before the pandemic, I know we are spending more time inside the classroom. And De Leon Gray, you know, uh, an associate professor of educational psychology, you know, uh, gives us uh, this very important quote that when students you know, feel that they are needed you know, or they belong in a classroom, it increased their educational success and motivational outcomes in multiple ways. And teachers can help create this feeling of belonging by building connections no, between classroom and community. You know, we know as teachers, no, we also uh, connect with, with uh, parents. No? Sometimes sa barangay, no, meron tayong mga ganun connections. No? And because of that, if the children, no, the child will feel no, the connection no, inside the classroom and the connection also sa kanyang family and community, the child will become motivated no, to really finish and no ba, be hardworking and persevering no, in their studies. An inclusive classroom no, is one that creates a supportive environment for all learners, including those with learning differences and one that can also challenge and engage gifted and talented learners by building a more responsive learning environment. Ang ganda po talaga sa definition. But we know that the implementation is more challenging. Alam po natin yan, we are on the ground. I'm also a teacher. I also teach uh, graduate school students. No? And we know that it is really very important to have our students be included no, inside the classroom. Lahat ng sinasabi nila, mga thoughts nila are being accepted no, and given importance. Inclusivity also means respecting people no, from all backgrounds and cultures. By teaching our students the importance of this, we can create a more tolerant and understanding environment, not just in the classroom and school, but also in wider society. Kasi po, hindi lang naman natatapos inside the classroom. Eh, no? We know that uh, when we teach our students, so we will be, they will be engaging outside. Kaya nga meron tayo mga community activities then no they are engaging outside the classroom we want them to really apply what they have learned inside the classroom so that is uh, what is being uh, discussed in inclusivity we have to respect people from all backgrounds and cultures no in De La Salle, we have many foreign students no we have students from the US we have students from Korea no Vietnam no? and we know that the backgrounds and cultures no we need to respect one another so that our diversity no, can help us create a more engaging discussion. Yung pagkakaiba po kasi maganda, maganda rin po siyang element of an inclusive classroom. So one of my favorite educator is Dr. Josette Bio. No? She is a dedicated teacher of the sciences. No? Pag, pag pinag-usapan yung inclusivity, noon niya pa ito ginagawa. Sabi niya nga, in my aspiration to make stars out of my students, she says, I was re rewarded with a planet. Kung hindi niya pakilala si, si Dr. Bio, no? she is the director no, of POSTSEI. No, Napakaganda po niya magturo. Actually, um, nung marami siyang napapanalunan na awards, there are, there are many schools in the U.S. who wanted to really get her to be a professor. Pero she chooses our country no, to be able to train students. So hindi po lahat gusto mag-abroad. No? Hindi lahat ng teachers gusto mag-abroad. Some of the teachers wanted to stay and train Filipino students. No? Isa na po dyan si Dr. Josette Bio. No? And I, I'm really very inspired by her story. No? Maganda po yung kanyang 
story, no? So, alam niyo po ba, because of her contribution to science, there is a planet bio. Meron pong pinangalan sa kanya na planet, no? It's a minor planet named after Filipino teacher, Dr. Joseph Bio. Ito yung planet 13241 found in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Bio is the first Asian teacher to win the Intel Excellence in Teaching Award for her innovations in teaching science research. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Lincoln Laboratory in the United States, named asteroid 13241 after her in 2002. Planet Bio rotates counterclockwise with the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. She is very inclusive in, in her uh, teaching, no? Actually, pag biology teacher siya, mas konti yung time niya inside the classroom. Mga students niya nasa, ano, nasa mountains of Panay Islands, no? Looking an, into the leaves, no? Biosystem, microorganisms. Ganyan po siya magturo. And she is really very excited, no? Especially listening to the observation and insights of her students, no? That's why marami pong naging sikat na student si ano si si Dr. Bia. Sabi niya nga ang aim niya lang no, to make a star out of her student but she was rewarded or awarded by a planet. So meron pong planet. No, I'm really very proud that there is a planet named after a Filipino teacher because I believe teachers like us no meron tayong ibang fulfillment. So, hindi lang talaga ano eh lang talaga monitor, monetary, although monetary is very important. We have a, a certain fulfillment when we see our students learning, no, exploring. Yung sinasabi nga nung isang teacher kanina no, from San Sebastian na minsan yung mga mahiyain student, they will not really talk, but they have very good insights sa mga forums, sa discussions. No? Ganun ginagamit ang educational technology. No? Para maging inclusive, everybody can share. Everybody can give their insights, kahit mahiyain pa yan o very assertive na mga student. Okay, so again, write true or false on the chat box. Maka natutulog na po kayo ha. Hybrid means a mix of approach to fit learners' needs. True or false? Ito. Nasagot mo ba? Yan. Thank you po. Oh, yeah. True or false? Yeah, very good. No, oh, mukhang ano na tayo, bihasa na tayo sa hybrid learning. That's very good. Kasi nung pagsimula po ng COVID-19 and it was declared that all will be done online in school. Naiyak po yung maraming teachers, no? Kasi nga, not everybody is very used to technology. Ngayon parang ano na po, no? You need you know hybrid, you know blended, no? And you know how to do this. So hybrid means a combination of average and intelligent students. True or false? Isipin niyo pong mabuti. Hybrid means a combination of average and intelligent students. True or false? Hybrid means a combination of average and intelligence. In terms of concept, parang yes. No? Pero pag definition po talaga ng hybrid, false yan. Kasi hybrid really is a combination of modality and approaches. Pero kung in, in the sense no, that we have a, an inclusive classroom, hindi lang po yung average, no? pati po yung challenge students. No? Uh, having difficulties, kasama po yan sa hybrid. No? No? Challenge students, no? having uh, academically challenged students kasama po yan, average and intelligent students. Next, hybrid is purely in-person class. Hybrid is purely in-person class. True or false? False. Next, Hybrid is purely online class. True or false? Di po, sagot po tayo. Para hindi po kayo antukin, no? And you are engaged this afternoon. Hybrid is purely online class. Hindi din po, tama po. Next, 
Hybrid is purely modular mode of learning. True or false? Hindi po, no? It is a combination. So hybrid is a combination of in-person, online, and modular approaches in learning. So yan po ang, yan po sagot natin dito? True. So we are now talking about hybrid learning, okay? And Cerebro no, is really helping us. No? Many schools are being supported and guided by Cerebro in terms of uh, giving quality hybrid experience no, with students. Okay, so bago po magsimula ang class, no, August uh, 2022, no, there is an article by Cruz no, that hybrid, hybrid learning is the future of education. It is combining face-to-face -face classes with online and modular learning in the Philippines. So we're, we are not talking about uh, uh, schools abroad. No, we're talking about the present situation in the Philippines. Okay? And we know na, bago po nagsimula yan, no, there is a, a guideline no, that we will be having a per, in-person and blended classes hanggang October 31 lang. Malapit na po yan. No? And starting on November, 20, November 2, 2022, we will be transitioning to five days of in-person classes. So, ang sabi po doon sa guideline 2019 policy, no, uh, guidelines on the K-12 basic education program, no school shall be allowed to implement purely distance learning or blended learning, except for those implementing alternative delivery modes as provided in DO21. So, alternative lang po. No? Pero alam po natin, there are series of talks, no? May mga hearings yan no? because of the reaction of many um, na mga, mga school, mga, mga sectors po ng education. Kaya po noong, ano, noong nagkaroon po ng hearing, no? uh, nirecognize na rin po na ating Vice President consequently as part of the transition no? to, to in-person classes, no? blended learning shall still be implemented. And we, and sabi niya, and we are continuing to study the implementation of blended learning as a permanent mode of instruction for basic education. Yun po yung sinabi ni uh, Vice President Duterte no, during the Senate Committee hearing. Kasi nga po, we know that that our school, no, our schools are are not ready, no, kung five days na po yan. Why? No, because we know that that there is an influx of um. Uh, enrollment lalo na po sa ating uh, public school system. So if we will be uh, implementing the social distancing or the physical distancing, we know that the classrooms, so hindi na nga po enough eh. Kulang pa nga po yung ating mga classrooms. So how can we, can we have an inclusive uh, environment no, if our classrooms are really very crowded? No, kagaya po nung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina na napakagagandang classroom. No, it is conducive to learning. Paano pag jump pack no, inside the classroom? So medyo mahirap pong mag-aral. No? And we know this is a reality in the Philippines. No? So why, what is hybrid learning? No? So hybrid learning is one of the many approaches that provide a mix of both online and in-person materials and instruction. So hybrid learning can and does look different in schools across the country. Iba-iba po yan as stakeholders try out new ways to comply with curriculum expectations and COVID-19 pandemic restrictions. This is very real for us. No? One foremost constant, however, exists within any hybrid model is students receive a mix of in-person instruction and virtual learning throughout the year. So meron po talagang mix, no? And we want them to be inclusive, no? When we do teaching, meron tayo sa online, meron din po tayo sa in-person, but all our activities can be applied no, on different modalities. Yun ang ating goal. Eh. So that everybody will give that opportunity to learn and receive quality learning experience. Okay, so what are the characteristics of a hybrid learning space? No? There is a flexible teaching and learning open to more types of learners. No? Nung nagkaroon po tayo ng online, marami tayong students sa ibang bansa. No? Of course, EdTech optimization, student-centered community, both online and in-person classes. Yun po yung mga hybrid learning space natin. Okay, so there are many hybrid teaching strategies. No? 
Siyempre, pinakasikat dito sa Pilipinas kasi nga because of the limited space that we have, we have the direct instruction. So ito po yung sinasabing traditional way of teaching. No? So the teacher is at the center and can be viewed by all students, no? whether they are online or in person. No? Uh, siguro po yung mga schools na, na umatend ngayon, meron po kayong mga ganito. No? Uh, the lecture and teacher, pero uh, not only students in person can view the teacher, but also those who are on online. In online. Okay, so we also have uh, play-based learning. So nauso po ito because of educational technology, no? And you know what in psychology, play is a very important element in learning, no? Play with purpose is an important part of learning. During play, play tasks, students use social, physical, and critical thinking skills, no? This is very good for students. And you know what? Kahit yung mga students ko po sa graduate school, I'm using play-based learning sa kanila so that they will be more engaged. It is a strategy that can make students more engaged during in-person and online classes. So yung iba po sa basic education, they use edu educational toys to meet learning goals. So, a great way to implement play-based learning into your hybrid learning curriculum is by using tablets or interactive whiteboards to encourage play. So we know that uh, very familiar na po tayo sa mga, tech, sa mga equipment no? like tablets, laptop, no? and we use all of that to be able to uh, engage in hybrid learning. So we can also use uh, game-based learning. No? Using games can also be an effective way to teach in a hybrid classroom. It makes students more engaged and interested. So game-based learning include physical games like board games, computers, and sports no, in lessons. These methods of learning involves using games like Clue, Minecraft, or other games to promote critical thinking skills or simple concepts. So yun po yun na, na itulong sa atin ng educational technology, no, yung edtech. Kasi meron na po tayo mga game-based learning. No? Sa students ko, minsan meron akong treasure hunting, meron akong charade, meron akong jigsaw puzzle, no? and it makes my life easier. Kasi nga, I will just introduce the concept no, and my students will be able to explore those concepts using game-based learning. And of course, prompting. No? Ito parang Socratic method of teaching natin. No? Using guided questions and suggestions to help students arrive in the correct answer. It guides students to achieve the learning objectives and beyond by challenging them with questions. Mas maganda po na tinatanong natin sila so that we can, learn, uh, we can re really listen to their answers and their insights. So a good way to do is, ito ginagawa ko po to, is pairing up both in-person and remote students using computers or tablets. So i-assign natin sila no, so that uh, it can be inclusive, no? lahat kasali. The students will prompt each other on different topics, no? It can also be game-based. Nga, ginagamit ko rin to using guessing game, charade, and so on. No? Itong sinasabi natin prompting. And of course, cooperative learning. So this is student-centered learning. It involves uh, students working together to solve a problem or find an answer. Well, keep in mind that cooperative learning is not competitive, but rather to achieve a common goal. So cooperative learning is great for teachers wanting more student-centered activities. No? When you do this, no, your, your students will be more engaged. At ikaw, hindi ka masyadong napapagod. Kasi pag, pag lagi po tayong traditional teaching, no, sabi nga natin kanina doon sa isang group na parang napaka-rigid, it becomes boring. No? But with the advent of EdTech, no, we can use that and be trained. No? Kailangan po kasi talaga natin training pag may use ng technology. No? What else? No? It is... A cooperative learning is well suited to a hybrid setting no, because it, it can encourage interaction between in-class and remote students. Social interaction is important for active learning. So by promoting cooperative activities with games, research assignments, and collective notes, all students are involved in the learning process. So they do hybrid learning, but they are all involved. No one is left behind. No? Because you will be assigning them with partners then, no? yung mga pairings and groupings. Napakarami pong groupings ngayon, ano? but you need to really monitor 
so that our student will have a very good experience doon sa mga cooperative learning. Kasi nga kung ang gagawin natin, no, we will just um, um, allow them to have breakout sessions, tapos wala naman tayong feedback, no, wala naman tayong uh, we are not engaging, o kaya hindi natin sila binibisit doon sa mga breakout rooms, we need to give feedback. Kasi nga po, parang ang nangyari lang, nag-breakout rooms lang sila. No? Feedback of the teacher is really very important. And of course, model teaching. No? Model teaching, ginagawa na natin to before, involving a teacher showing students how to do a task by breaking it into small steps. The most common form of model teaching are things like math equations or step-by-step -step tutorials. So ginagamit po dito yung mga jam boards, no? annotations, no? ginagamit po yan pag tinuturo po ito, no? itong step-by-step -step tutorials no? or model teaching. So how to create an inclusive environment in a hybrid classroom? So alam na po natin, ano ibig sabihin ng inclusive environment? Alam na po natin, ang ibig sabihin ng hybrid classroom, we also have knowledge on the strategies, no? teaching strategies using hybrid classroom. So ano naman yung mga elements on how to create this? Ang sabi po rito, listen well to your students. Active listening promotes mindful thinking which can reduce anxiety and depression in students. No? It's really very important that we listen to them. Kasi nga, sometimes, uh, gawa tayo ng gawa na activities, pero uh, gusto ba nila? No? Have you given them uh, a chance to give feedback? on the activities you want you want them to engage with and sometimes sa sa palitan niyo ng feedback sa student makakaroon magkakaroon ka ng idea ay ah, ito pala yung gusto nila ah okay they want this one and i can do this no for remote and in person students so active listening is very good no lalo na po ngayon na mataas po yung mga mental health cases natin no we need to listen well to our students So, what else? So, yun nga, make activities student-centered, no, which can be done by students who are in-person and online. And you need to be there to give feedback, no, to engage them. No? Kasi may mga estudyante po na mahihain sila sa groupings. Kahit po sa tertiary, I was able to really experience um, students that they, that they are telling me, Ma'am, I'm, I'm more uh, comfortable doing it alone than with a, than with a group. And you keep you will be encouraging them that little by little, please engage no? so that you will be able to socialize with your group mates. No? So pag napagod na at ayaw na talaga, that's the time na pwede na mag individualize no? Pero what is important is you are listening to the needs of your students. Okay, what else? No? This is very important. No? Always remind students to treat each other with respect. Do not tolerate name calling or ridicule inside the hybrid class. So, wag po tayong pumayag. Kahit napakadami nating students no, na meron pa rin buskahan. No? Dati yung mga name calling, it's very common noon sa, sa, sa mga schools. No? No? But because of the effect on the emotions no? and mental health of students no? sa mga sa bullying. No? Sa bu bullying po. So, it is not tolerated anymore. We need to be um, promoting respect. No? Kaya nga habang natuturo po tayo ng, ng uh, important lessons to our students, we need to remind them to respect each other and do not call anybody names. No? Dati kasi po ako, nung no, maliit ako, medyo kulot ako. No? Nung kulot ako, ang daming mga tawag sa akin. So, sana ngayon hindi na gano'n. No? Kasi nga, we want to, we want to uh, create an inclusive environment. So when we say inclusive environment, kahit ano pa yung uh, physical appearance ng kanilang mga kaklase, no, they should celebrate sa diversity and uh, stop name calling. Encourage participation among students, no, both online and in person. Ask questions and allow them to answer no, via chat no, or they can speak aloud pag sa in person. At ang maganda nga po sa mga chat, mga mga um, uh, Ano ba yun? Mga discussion rooms, forums, no? kahit yung mga shy students can really express themselves. No? What else? No? You have to define clear minimum standards for behavior and enforce them consistently. No? So even in online classroom, there are ethical behaviors no, that need to be followed. 
So being on cam most of the time is if possible, no. Ako nire-require ko kung, kung kaya po ng connection, no? I need to really see my students, no. And of course, chatting polite words, no. Kailangan yung mga chat nila hindi hindi nakakainsulto dun sa mga kaklase nila, no. And their reaction must be done in a good manner. These are behaviors that students need to up, uphold, no, kahit in person or remote learning. And how to create an inclusive classroom, no? We are really promoting a scaffolded approach to, learn, to learning, no? By being aware of the needs of every child in your class. No? Kasi po pag scaffolding, no? It, magkakaiba po kasi ng pacing yung mga students, no? Pag nag-aaral po sila. So, doon sa scaffolded approach, no? Hahanapin natin saan na silang aspeto, no? What aspect of learning do they have? And we will be supporting them. So, the scaffolding no, refers to a method where teachers offer a particular kind of support to students no, as they learn and develop a new concept or skill. No. So in the instructional scaffolding model, a teacher may share new information or demonstrate how to solve a problem. No. The teacher then gradually steps back and lets students practice on their own. No. It can also be uh, a group practice. No. So, Ang scaffolding po na yan ay methods no, coming from sa, sa construction, no, in constructing a building. Hanggat hindi pa, ano, hindi pa kaya ng building na is, scaffolding. No? At inaalis po yan, pag okay na yung building, no, can stand on its own. No? And all the uh, all the elements of a, of a very good building are already there. So inaalis na po yung scaffolding. So scaffolding is the work of a uh, psychologist Lev Vygotsky. No? Kung narinig na po yung zone of proximal development, this is an example of scaffolding. No? He is well known in his many contributions in uh, educational theory to po si Vygotsky. So he coined the term zone of proximal development, which is based on students' current developmental level and potential developmental level. So alam po natin na ang potential is the students to do independently the task we, we were able to introduce. No? By looking at the zone of proximal development, no? ano pa yung hindi kaya niyang gawin no? na hindi mo pa ginagay. No? So you have to really support the student. No? After evaluation, ay meron na siyang nagagawa no? without my guide. Meron na siyang nagagawa without my guide. And eventually, no? by looking into the uh, potential of the student, the student can do independently the task you were able to introduce. Ito po yung zone of proximal development. So how to create an inclusive classroom? Siyempre po kasama dyan ang language inside the classroom. So marami pong katuruan about gender inclusive language, gender appropriate language, and we should be avoiding discriminatory remarks no, about race, culture, and gender preferences. These are some of the examples at ito pong uh, gender neutral language, sensitive language, marami pong ano rito, workshop. No? Uh, it, is, it is also uh, a workshop wherein the teachers are uh, being introduced on how to use gender appropriate language. No? Pag, pag nag, gumagamit po tayo ng mga pronouns, no? kasi nga yung pronouns hindi mo naman maiiba. His, her, it talaga yun, no So pag nag-introduce tayo ng sentence, laging may his, her. Hindi lang his, hindi lang her. Kailangan is her no we can also use gender gender neutral language like uh, mankind to humankind chairman to chair congressman to legislator no businessman to representative no Poli policeman to police officer landlord to owner boyfriend or girlfriend to partner salesman to salesperson so yun po yung mga gender neutral language no? And it's it's being used for for uh, in the creation of inclusive environment. And of course, calm and purposeful environment. No? So do not compare the progress of one child to another, because children learn in different paces. Eh, magkakaiba po siya, no? Studies also show that a positive environment inside the classroom allows students to be the best version of themselves. Sila talaga yung nagiging best version of themselves when they feel no, that they are accepted no, and 
we are very interested in their progress. Okay, so so we are now going to the welfare of the teacher. No, siguro um, meron muna tayong mga konting break, siguro mga two minute break. No, makapu merong ino mag CR ng konte. No, so babalik po tayo after two minutes. No, sige po don sa mga magbi break ng konte. CR break water break. While taking a break, this is a reminder to please slide into our slido.com and use the hashtag GoToRebro or what you can see on the chat box so that it will direct you in tweeting your questions to Dr. Myla Pamplona after her discussion. So you can use this time in thinking as well to whatever questions that you want to ask directly to her. Thank you, everyone. Trying to build up and grow our startup during the pandemic is really very challenging since we cannot meet with our team and our clients face to face but it is also good that our product is purely online and is considered as a COVID solution so we were able to continue delivering it to the teachers and schools in need of it especially during this time. We made sure that we have an open line of communication with each other and that we can always tap anyone in our team to help us in our tasks that might seem very challenging to accomplish because of the current situation. Communicating with your team becomes even more difficult to do so because of this pandemic. Explaining new tasks and plans is very hard because you will never know if they really understand your presentation. What kept me going is the fact that students might stop learning if there are limited educational technologies available especially during this time when schools are not allowed to operate in a physical setting. And the challenge of having students learning from home might also be a burden among parents. So we really strive to develop an all-in-one solution that will help prevent these eventualities. We had to make great adjustments just so we can continue offering our solution. Actually, what is good right now is that we no longer have geographic limitations since working purely online opened the possibility of reaching clients from faraway places that are practically impossible for us to visit. You will fall every time you try to create a new step in your business. So instead of giving up because of that unexpected fall, make an unpredictable move to deliver your strategy and solution to everyone. My message to my teammates and the rest of the startup community is to always remember why you started and think about the reasons why you are doing the things you are currently doing because this might actually help you to be even better and bring back your positive mindset, especially in times that you feel really challenged. Okay, two minutes na ba, Trisha? <laughs> yes, for Dr. Myla. Okay, so nakapagpahinga ng konti, no? kasi alam naman natin yung brain natin, ano? minsan pag dire-direcho yung learning, kailangan niyang ano, ma-incubate yung mga learnings na tatunan natin. Okay, so let's go to the second part. No? Thank you, Trisha. Okay. So thumbs up na if our if our um, participants are here already baka baka nag ano pa si our break <laughs> thumbs up po nandiyan na po tayo So hindi ko syempre kalilimutan ng mga teachers no kasi nga uh, pwede tayong magturo ng puro technical aspects of uh, inclusive classroom and hybrid learning pero nalimutan natin yung pinakamahalaga sa implementation Walang iba kundi po ang ating mga teachers. No? Very important in having an inclusive environment is the welfare of the teachers. Napakahalaga po yan. Kasi nga you are the one implementing it. And I know 
teaching in the Philippines is not very easy. I know that. I, I've been a teacher, I think, uh, how many years na ba? 2002? Gano katagal na po yun, ano? So I know the realities of limited resources. No? There are times that we are too overwhelmed with many documentations, paperwork. We are overwhelmed with chairmanship positions, committee members. No? So napakahalaga po ng ating well-being. Okay? So my question na ako, give me a thumbs up. If you are doing the following, okay? Doing regular exercise. Kahit yes or no po sa ano na lang, chat box. Yes or no on the chat box. Doing regular physical exercise. Sino po nag-exercise dito? I hope everybody is doing their physical exercise. Yes or no lang po. Ano, maraming no. <laughs> Sometimes, sobrang pagod siguro. Anong time? Oh. A form of dance is very good. Kung sabi yung iba, yes! Napakahaba, no? Sir Ingon. <laughs> yung iba walang time siguro, pero they want to really do physical exercise. How about practicing breathing exercise? Yung parang pag feeling mo, overwhelmed ka na, no? Mag-breathe in ka. Breathe out. Da, da, da. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ang tama pong pag-breathing sa ilo, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth, dahan-dahan lang po. Kailangan ma-relax ka. Your, your shoulders will be relaxed. Okay, pag na-over yung ka na, ang dami mong gagawin. Breathe in and breathe out slowly. Oh, napakasarap po. No? Eating healthy. Yung iba eating pero hindi healthy ah. Because sometimes when we are stressed out, we like to eat sweets, no? We like to eat cake, ice cream, ano ba, burgers. <laughs> yeah, no, eating healthy daw, no. <laughs> so we need to eat healthy. Kasi nga kahit na tayo ay nag snack dapat pala, ano, healthy food yon Okay lang na may cheat day. Huwag lang mas marami yung cheat day kesa sa healthy days. <laughs> <laughs> Minsan lang kaba ng cheat day, no? Ma'am Cecilia. <laughs> yes and no. Minsan, minsan yes, minsan no. But we need to really eat healthy. Unang-una, no, we need to take care of our physical health and our mental health because we cannot create an inclusive classroom in hybrid learning if you are not well. No? If we are not uh, taking care of ourselves. No? And of course, thinking happy and positive thoughts. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan, no? Kailangan ba laging positive ang mga thoughts? Yes, as much as possible. But there are times also that we can think not so good thoughts. No? For example, we are anxious, we are worried, we are tired. Is that, is that wrong? Hindi po. No? We need to acknowledge our thoughts and feelings. No? Because sometimes when we feel overwhelmed, no? when we feel overwhelmed, we need to acknowledge no, yung thoughts na yun. Hindi laging positive. Pero as much as possible, no, pag na-process na, na natin yung mga negative feelings natin, na-address na natin siya, na-process na natin siya, that's the time we think about positive thoughts. No? At alam ko po, napaka-resilient ninyo as teachers. No, that's why kahit na may mga negative na nangyayari, no, not only inside the classroom, there are many things happening inside our house that is not really very good we can still find positive things around it. Ganun talaga yung mga teachers. Next, no? Okay. So I have a study before. I, I was able to publish this study last 2014. I conducted a study with 78 teachers working in a pri private school. And you know what? These are the results. No, ang title po, Guilty or Not Guilty, The Level of Guilt and Coping of Filipino Working Mothers. At ang nakuha ko po mga respondents, since I'm working in a school, teachers po. At alam niyo po the results, we have high levels of guilt. Ang taas ng guilt natin, pero we have moderate levels only of coping. Kaya minsan we feel tired and overwhelmed because we did not know how to take care of ourselves. Bakit ba tayo nagigilty pag working mother? No? Sometimes when you are in a conference or in a seminar, wala ka sa bahay mo and you are thinking about your children, you feel guilty. No? Sino po yung very true to sa inyo? Yes or no on the chat box? You feel guilty sometimes no? when you are spending too much time in school. 
wala ka ng time sa bahay niyo. No? Do you feel guilty? No? Yeah, ma'am. Yes, this is this is very true. This is one of my studies po. At na na-discover ko, we are have high levels of guilt. Pero wala tayong masyadong hope. Kasi sometimes we become anxious, we become worried, no? Feeling natin nobody is caring for us, nobody is listening for us. No? Kailangan meron din tayong mga self-care activities. Kaya po, yun ang introduce ko sa inyo doon sa second part. No? So what is self-care? Okay? So self-care is any activity that we do deliberately po, ah, sinasadya. Okay? We do it deliberately in order to take care of our mental, emotional, and physical health. Kung wala ka po kayong ginagawang self-care para pangalagaan yung sarili nyo, now it's the time to have one. And there is no one size fits all. No? Kasi nga, it will depend on the resources you have inside the home wherein you can do very simple self-care exercises to help yourself. No? And you have to do it deliberately. Ah? Kasi nga, lagi natin sinasabi, we don't have time for self-care. Alagaan mo yung anak mo. Kung lang pa kayo maghapon sa work, then when you go home, ang dami-dami mong gagawin. Yes or no? Patawag mo to, no? Sino po yung nakakaranas nito? No time for self-care, ma'am. Kasi gusto ko po talagang alagaan yung sarili ko, pero wala talaga akong time. No, tingnan natin sa chat box. <laughs> yes na yes. Talagang marami ang nakakaano dito. No? Gusto mong alagaan yung sarili mo, pero you don't have time. No? Kaya nga sabi ko, I cannot recommend a particular self-care kasi nga no one no one size fits all. It will depend on the resources you have at home. At alam niyo po ba yung self-care? Hindi naman po siya mahabang activities, very short activities lang. It can it can take 10 minutes, 15 minutes of your time to really take care of yourself, no? So, parang kotse lang din po tayo eh, no? One half what happens to a car that does not go in for its maintenance? Kung isa, yung isang kotse gagamitin natin ang gagamitin, we will not have it um, uh, mag-undergo ng change oil, hindi natin tinitingnan kung may water, hindi natin tinitingnan if all the, if all the equipments or gears are functioning. No, kahit po yung kotse, no? No? Uh, it will not, it will not, uh, we cannot use it for a long time if we will not have it maintained. No? Mechanical failure and the car lifespan is reduced. Okay. So fragile system needs maintenance or self-care to sustain itself. Okay, pag hindi po natin to ginawa mental health and physical issues such as a nervous breakdown or an illness may happen to us. Okay, that's why self-care is very important. No? So, conse so consequences, no, sabi po ni Getchus, no? Consequences of not doing self-care, no, commonly we have low energy. Parang, na, ewan ko kung nararamdaman niyo po, no? type in yes or no in the chat box. Hindi pa tapos yung 5 p.m., very low na yung energy mo. Hindi siya nagiging enough para to sustain you. 8 to 5. No? Sige po, yes or no. Kulang na yung energy sa 5 o'clock pa lang. Hindi na, hindi na enough. Okay. Because you are too tired. You have low energy. And if you have low energy, you will have feelings of hopelessness, less patience, difficulty falling and staying asleep, increased headaches, stomach aches, and other physical symptoms of stress. At pag nangyari yan sa'yo, pag uwi mo, very low energy ka na, you are irritable, no? So you will have less patience with your children. Parang lagi kang galit. Si hey, mommy, lagi na lang galit, sabi ng mga anak natin. And reduce performance at work. Minsan nadadala din natin yung low energy at work. And less motivation to engage in social activities. Now, even though you want to go out and you need to really connect with friends because you are really very tired, itutulog po na lang po. Because you are not practicing self-care. It's very important. And it's really hard if you will not take time for it. So the best way to make any behavior change is make it as simple as possible, realistic, and achievable. So if you want to create an inclusive classroom, your welfare po is very important. Because you will not have time to listen to the needs of your students if you are not well. Gusto mo na lang laging matapos yung ano mo, subject mo. You are not really engaging, not, not mindful kung ano nangyayari sa classroom. 
there is no happiness anymore. Wala nang fulfillment. No? Kasi nga baka pagod na po tayo. So, behavior change, no? Tingnan niyo po yung mga resources ninyo sa bahay. How can you make uh, self-care possible? No? So, there are some tips, no? Ito na pakadali lang po. Take short breaks in between synchronous classes. No? Go outside and feel the air by taking deep breaths. Deep breaths are very important. You know why? No? You, you are aware of your body relaxing. No? And you are letting out unwanted energy and tension. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, the right way, the right way no? to, to really breathe is through your nose. Pero kung meron tayong ano po, colds, gusto po ngayon ng colds at saka cough, So kung meron po tayo niyan, sa bibig po, no? no? Sa bibig, tapos dahan-dahan nyo lang po ibig. Breathe in. And breathe out. Alam niyo po bakit ko po alam niya. I do this. Before I go to sleep, I will make sure no, that I will do my, my breathing and breathing out. No? Ten times po yan bago ko matulog. Sabihin ko pa dyan, I am... Allowing all the stress to leave my body. I am calm. I am relaxed. I am at peace. Breathe in. Breathe out. I am allowing all the tiredness of the day to leave my body. I am calm. I am relaxed. I am at peace. At hindi mo kailangan ng sleeping pills. to be able to sleep well. It is only through your breathing. No? At ito po ay magagandang tips kasi nga, all of us are breathing. Eh. No? So bago tayo matulog, 10 minutes, kung mag-breathe in and breathe out tayo, let all the tension in our body. This is a very good practice. No? What else? No? If you have pets, no? you, your pets let you step outside your own problems. Sino po rito may mga pets? Yes or no? On the chat box. Sige po, yes or no on the chat box. Ito po si Bruce. No, he is our Labrador. We also have another Labrador. He is Mac. So, pag napapagod po ako, bababa ako. And just to look at them, nakakabawas po ng tension. Tinan ko nga yung mga fur mom dito. Ay, marami mga fur mommy. No? Yan, si Ma'am Maika. She has three dogs. Fair dad, si Sir Clark. Wow, that's good. So, hanging out with your dog after a stressful event reduces levels of the stress hormone cortisol. Meron pong nangyayari sa ating physical activity no, when we allow ourselves to engage in other areas in our lives no, at nare-reduce yung levels ng stress hormone cortisol. No? So, kung meron po tayong mga ganyan, that's good. No? If you want to connect with our friends, talk to them. That is that is good way also of reducing levels of stress hormone cortisol. Kasi pag lagi pong mataas yung stress hormone natin, talaga pwede po tayo ma-anxious. No? And we can experience anxiety in different levels. No? Next po. Okay. Ito po ang napakagandang gawin. No? Less use, social media break po. Huwag po lagi nasa cellphone. Give yourself time to rest and be at peace. Sinan ang sarap, di ba? You can just lie, lie down. Tapos may mga paa mo. And just feel your breathing. No? Feel the atmosphere of peace and quiet. No? You can do that five minutes, ten minutes. Pagkadating nyo po from a tiring day, you can do that. No? And you need to, to allow your, your uh, family members to know that you are doing self-care. O anak, bigyan mo lang si mami five to ten minutes. Kailangan lang mag-rest ni mami. Huwag tayo masyadong superhero. Kasi po, ang mangyayari sa atin, dahil wala naman tayong superpower no? na galing sa mga bato, uding, we are not darna. No? So we can really feel tired and overwhelmed. Sabihin natin sa family members natin, I just need time for myself, konti lang, tataas lang ni mami yung paa niya, okay? and give yourself time to rest and be at peace. No? Sa gabi po, huwag niyo pong itabi yung cellphone niyo. O kung kung tabi niyo man po, i-off po niyo. Sabi po dito, log off, shut down, get outside. So pag matutulog, log off, shut down, go to sleep. Okay? Go to sleep without it. Kasi nga, pag hindi niyo po pinatay, tunog siya ng tunog, dito, and it will make you uh, alert. No? Sabi nung iba, dog okay po ba na ano, pampatulog ang, ano, ang, 
um, playing mobile games? Is it okay to play mobile games so that I can go to sleep? Is it okay to browse through my Facebook? Kasi po napapaantok na. But because of the nature, no, in Blu-ray light po ng ating cellphone, the more you engage in your cellphone and your monitors, the more you will not get sleep. Kasi po it makes you awake. Lalo po siyang nagpapagising sa atin. So that's why we need to really log off, shut down, and go to sleep. Or get outside. Mas maganda po ng mga activities outside, no? Going outside with your family if you have time to really go to a different place, a change of environment. No, you need that for your self-care. And enjoy a hot cup of tea or coffee. Sino po mahilig sa coffee? Mahilig sa tea? Sige po. No? Uh, kindly type in yes or no. Kung mahilig po ako sa tea. No? Mahilig din ako sa coffee pero medyo nagbabawas ako sa coffee. No? Yung coffee po kahit dalawang cups lang a day can it's good for you. Pero pag dumadami po siya, minuminuto, oras-oras, nagpo-coffee po tayo, baka magkaroon po tayo ng hyperacidity. No? Kasi medyo maasim siya, no? Very sour in our stomach. No? So yan, very good po yan. Enjoy a hot cup of tea or coffee. No? Something to drink that refreshes your senses. No? Very good po. And of course, prayers. No? I don't think I can I can survive without my prayer activities, no? Prayer calms the soul and relaxes the body. Sino po yung lagi nagpipray? No? Yung mga verses natin, no? when we pray, we give to God all our concerns. No? Iwan nyo na po kay, kay Lord yan if you, are, if you have uh, spiritual activities. No? Kung wala naman po, marami pa po ibang activities. No? But prayer is one area no? which is really very good for your self-care. Dahil sabi po dyan, no? during the COVID-19 pandemic, no? They found out that religiosity, no, and religion and spiritual activities is very is a very good help, no, sa COVID-19. The results indicated that spirituality could aid people to have mental relaxation in times of crisis and dangerous diseases. Sino po yung nakaranas nito ng COVID-19 na na overwhelm po kayo? Pero every time you pray, every time you you come to God and really give. Give all your worries to Him. Talaga nakikaroon po kayo ng peace of mind. Peace sa heart ninyo. No? No? Sige po, type in yes or no. Very good po. Type in yes or no. Kasi po, no, matagal na ako nag-aaral po sa spiritual quotient. No? Ito po SQ or spiritual intelligence. And you know what? No? Sa pag-aaral po, I found out that there is a study no, of Michael Persinger. He is a neuropsychologist. And V.S. Raman Kanran, a neurologist, they are students of University of California. They have identified a God spot in the human brain. 1990 pa po ito, no? This area is located among neural connections in the temporal lobes of the brain. During scans with positron emissions topography, these neural areas light up whenever research subjects are exposed to discussion of spiritual topics. No, may nag-iilaw pala sa brain natin when we hear Christian songs, no, when we listen to, to the preaching of the pastor, sermon of the priest, when we read um, Bible verses. No, meron pong nangyayari mismo sa ating brain. That's why we feel good and it relaxes us. No? Okay, so those are some of the tips po. And there are many tips. If you want to really read some tips, Go to our uh, FB page, no Mind Speak Psychological Clinic. We are in FB. We have a page, no. Pwede niyo pong i-browse to on. So, ano po yung ito po yung tanong ko sa inyo, no? Uh, ito yung aking ending activity po. What to do when there is a a, a great storm? Pag nakakita po kayo ng isang barko na kagaya nito, facing a great storm, no malakas na storm. Kumo hindi may ginagawa po sila. Not to stop the storm. No? Pero to, ano, to be able to survive the storm. Ayan po, meron akong clue. Meron po silang itatapon sa dagat, di ba po? Ano po yun? They will throw in the anchor. Thank you po. They will throw in the anchor. Drop the anchor. Find an anchor and drop the anchor. No? So itong anchor sa buhay natin, no? I will relate it to our lives. Sometimes, no, we are facing many storms in our lives. 
as if it, it will not stop. Parang hindi na po titigil na ni Storm. No? Pero this this uh, one um, one illustration, no? meron pa akong iiwan sa inyo na isang skill. Ang tawag po ay dropping the anchor. Hindi natin may stop yung storm, but we can be firm, we can be stable, and allow the storm to pass. Tama po ba? We cannot change everything eh. So if we have problems with our children, we cannot do anything about it kasi nga, it's their behavior. Ang alam lang po natin magpaalala. No? Pero the, the decision is still up to them. No? So there's sometimes storms in our lives. No? And we can just drop the anchor. No? Because we need to survive. And we need to just let it pass. Because all storms of life can pass. No? Hindi naman po yan na forever. Okay, so what is dropping the anchor? Well, the, the aim of dropping the anchor is to help the client regain control over their physical actions. You know, to be present, to engage in what they're doing, and to focus their attention on what matters. So para po matandaan ninyo yung dropping the anchor, meron tatlong important elements. A's, no? A stands for acknowledging thoughts and feelings. Huwag niyo pong takasan ang inyong thoughts and feelings. Huwag po kayong matakot bakit niyo yan nararamdaman o bakit niyo po yan naiisip. You have to acknowledge it. You have to name it. Like sometimes when you feel overwhelmed, I feel I am anxious because of a presentation. So anxiety ito, acknowledge it. I can feel that I'm anxious here. Alamin nyo rin po kung saan part ng katawan. Minsan parang nasa stomach. Parang you want to really to throw up you know, because of the high levels of anxiety. Just acknowledge it. Name it. This is anxiety. This is worry. This is, uh, I'm scared. I am mad. I am angry of what is happening. So acknowledge it. And then connect with your body. How do you the connection with your body? Pwede niya pong gawin. No? When you want to connect with your body, kahit nakaupo po kayo, pwede niya itong gawin. Nung maliit tayo, ginagawa natin to. When we do this, you are connecting with your body. Make sure no, that you are feeling your, your fingers no, against each other. O kaya you can stretch here. Stretch here, no? up, down, up, down. Ang mahalaga po, you are aware of your body. You are connecting and you are focusing on your body. And then engage in the world around you. Kung nasaan po kayo ngayon, no? paano mag-engage? No? You have to name five things na nakikita mo. Ano nakikita niyo po sa panigid niyo this time? Picture frame. Lights, doors, ano pa, clothes, uh, thermos. Engage on what you hear. Ano po yung naririnig nyo this time? Do you hear the sound of the aircon? Do you hear the sound of people around you? Just engage on your hearing, your sense of hearing your auditory senses. You can also engage in your feelings. No? Yung nararamdaman mo, is it hot? Doon po sa, sa, sa lugar kung nasaan po kayo? Do you feel relaxed there? O naka-air kung kayo, it's cold. You can feel the soft breeze. Engage in your senses. At kahit na anxious po tayo, we are able to manage it. You are engaging in your environment and then focusing on what you're doing. Yes, I'm anxious, but I need to focus on teaching. I need to focus on doing things that I'm doing. And by doing ACE, no, acknowledging thoughts and feelings, connecting with your body, engaging in the world around you, you can regain focus in an overwhelming situation. Sabi ko nga po, we need to drop the anchor when we feel overwhelmed. Hindi dahil kaya natin stop ang storm. No? We can still survive it and we can really be firm in what is happening around us. Okay? So if you are sitting very well in your comfortable position, allow your feet flat on the floor. Ito po yung ending natin, the dropping the anchor. If you feel overwhelmed, you can do this to make your anxiety manageable. Just feel your feet grounded on the floor. 
allow your, your mind to focus on your feet. Put your um, hands on your lap or on your sides. You can focus on your breathing as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Then start to acknowledge your thoughts and feelings. Do you feel okay this afternoon? Are there thoughts? Scarce me. Ito ba mga thoughts na magatakot tayo, nagsis-anxious. Acknowledge them. Face them. If you feel it's here, it's here, acknowledge it. This is anxiety. This is worry. I'm acknowledging it. I can feel it. It's true. It's here. I can feel it. It's anxiety. It's worry. Then start connecting with your body. Feel your body moving. And do this. Feel your body moving. I'm alive. I thank the Lord. I'm alive and well. Start engaging in the world around you. Name five things that you can see. Name five things that you can hear. Name five things that you can feel. And you will notice that you are more focused, more aware, more mindful of your thoughts and your feelings. You will also notice that everything happening around you what you are doing, the most important thing this afternoon, listening to this webinar and learning. Engage in the world around you. Allow yourself to focus. Drop your anchor so that storms can be more manageable. Okay, thank you very much. And I would like to end with a verse. Okay, so God is telling us life is precious. We want to create an inclusive environment for our students in a hybrid learning. And we also want to take care of ourselves. According to John chapter 10, verse 10, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Jesus wants us to have an abundant life. Abundance means a very large quantity of something, not only material things, but also abundance in having good physical health and mental health. So if you want to know more about uh, skills no, to be able to address some of our symptoms, no, you can just uh, connect with us. I am Dr. Myra Pinar S. Pamplona. These are all my numbers. No, you can Email us at mindspeaks.psych at gmail.com and we are very willing to, to help you, especially our teachers. No, meron po ako mga clients, mga teachers, and we have special rates no, for our teachers, po, especially those who are having difficulty. Po. So thank you very much. These are all my references. Thank you for being engaged this afternoon. Thank you, Paul.